Welcome guys, another reaction with the Toxic channel. Uh, we, we, we're gonna make it faster, the introduction. We, I'm not gonna speak like, make you bored. Anyway guys, uh, this one is episode 8 of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. I don't know if it's bullshit or it's real. I really, this, until this point, I watched a couple of them, but I don't know if it's bullshit or it's real because the same guy is coming back. I don't know if someone can explain to me why the same guys are coming back or the same girls coming back or some sh uh, explain to me i don't know how it works anyway and, uh, all the uh sometimes the same guy say different job not the same job he say different job i noticed this is not the first time anyway let's just dive in guys and see what's going on subscribe like comment if you like it in the end of the, the video you can leave it with the super thank you if not just keep scrolling guys Boring. I'm gonna skip the introduction, sorry about that. Make it faster. And we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Pop Love. And this time around, we've got the men lined up. Make some noise, guys. Yeah. <laughs> all right all right so I think I we're gonna one. go ahead and be bringing out no? some single ladies one by one when they come on out if you're feeling her you like what you see anything she says you're you know vibing with it do not pop your balloon but if there's anything that you're not a fan of go ahead and pop your balloon and i'll go over to each of you and see why you ended up popping y'all ready let's get okay, it pop okay it. let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady we're gonna do it to two parts because it's really long. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Lala. Lala, how old are you? I think um, this girl she came back. Twenty-five. Okay, and what do you do? I own my own business. I don't know. I do body sculpting. Oh, okay, very nice. And now, Lala, what do you look for in a man? A man of God. A man that can lead me back into my path if I need redirecting, but mm -hmm. not like too controlling. Okay. But also. A friend, someone that can laugh with me, I can have good times with. Okay. It's right. interesting this one. <laughs> and now, uh, Lala, what are some of your deal breakers when it comes to someone you're dating? Children. A liar. Mm. A liar. Okay. A liar. Like even small white lies. Yeah. Are deal breakers. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me think. Someone that can be romantic. Mm. Like someone that can't like take the lead. Okay. And like you can't plan a date. You can't do anything on your own like you need someone to do that for you or like show you how like not nah. okay all right well Hold. lala you ain't got no pop balloons girl you are doing well <laughs> so oh, if i even forget the concept yeah that they need need. over to you if i can borrow i even forget the sir. concept of it thank you very much i'll have you hold that so first round i know everyone says it's very tough I'm gonna have you eliminate two of the fellas based off of you know what you're seeing is not your usual type and then once you pop those two, I'll go ahead and follow after you and we'll see why you ended up popping, what makes them not your type. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> short guy. Okay, short. and one more? Okay. Short. Um, yeah, short. Go for the short guy. All oh. right, let's start with our first guy here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Styles. I'm 33. Okay. And Styles, what do you do? I am an educator, and outside of that, I am inter in entertainment. Okay, all yeah. right. And now, Styles, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Lala? Um, honestly, she's beautiful, but one Thank of the you. things that she said that really struck me was she's looking for someone to lead her back into her path. Mm. So that means that she's aware of who she is and also is looking forward to growing. So mm. I was trying to figure out what that was about. Okay. <laughs> um, Sometimes I like to second guess myself, especially when it comes to like business and stuff. So I don't like to take certain things serious, but like focus on that. Like you got it, like that type of redirect me kind of. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so my question to you is what made me a deal breaker off the top? Be honest, come on. I'm ready. What do you mean? It was the height. Okay. Yeah, obviously, she did. You, in the face, you kind of remind me of my ex. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that means I was your type. I'm just not tall. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just, looking at you like constantly, I just, him, and it's not good for me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Styles. Let's go over here. <laughs> she popped it because All he right. looked like a rap. Your name and age. 
Yeah, my name is Henri. I'm 24. Who's the fuck? And Henri, what do you do? Well, I'm an entrepreneur and also model. Um, everybody model. in this show I'm model. To be honest, everybody's model. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the, the toxic side of me I'm coming out I'm right now. A fashion show in Arizona on June 1st it's called Valley Vogue. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And now, um, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for Lala? Honestly, I mean, I thought if it was casual, it's cool, it's whatever, you know, but kind of like blanked out when she was just chatting. So, um, but no, I knew it was coming, you know what I mean? Like with the whole balloon pop, because, you know what I mean? But um, she Me? seemed like she's a bright woman. She has, you know what I'm saying? I like ambition people, but that's probably one reason why I didn't pop it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And now Lala, why did you end up popping his balloon? Not to be mean or anything. Because he's taller than you. It's nice. It's just certain things about it just Bro, made me pop it. Mm-hmm. Like what? She thinks that he dressed like this all I the like time. I like your shoes, but they're a little too dirty for me. <laughs> your pants, they have a little bit of nicks on them. Yeah. And then I just don't like the Burberry. Damn. She's really sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just, I oh, really she's not critics. She okay, doesn't critic too so. much. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, the best right. of the show Thank is you. called Let's Dress to Impress. So did he did his best. All right. <laughs> All right. If we can have your name. If he's eight. clean, he's, he's clean. That's the most important. Uh, I work in private security and I'm 26. Okay. All right, Key. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I'm very big on personality. I know, you know. We're judging off small things, but He's I don't right, though. Yeah. Nice cover. I like looking exactly. deeper. You never know what blessings you're missing. Mm-hmm. So when you pop your balloon or when you That's pop why your balloon over the height, I just thought I'm not very superficial like that. So I like to look at people and to be a lot more deeper and everything. And I don't think we really match like that. Mm-hmm. I understand that. My That's perfectly fine. You're right. Yeah, he's <laughs> right. right. Now is key your type? Yeah. Um, you didn't power his balloon. He's your type. No offense. It's really har- harsh to say. Shut the fuck up. I don't go for people and take them serious when they have a name like me. So, like, the fact that you have Sean in your name, it's fine, yeah. but, like, the name The most is, stupid just, things I ever uh, heard. I, they they have no like, idea. I don't know how they think anyway. Stuff, I, not all. I, how I don't she go think. for someone that has the same exact... Because I think of, like... I said it would go toxic. No, I, I can't do it. <laughs> oh. I'm you sorry. You're thinking far. You're thinking far. I understand yeah. that. I understand that. No, definitely. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I appreciate but that. I like your teeth. I like your eyes. You. I like your... Thank you. Thank you. You don't like his name, though. appreciate you. You're gorgeous as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God right, he popped his balloon. Everybody so should pop his balloon. We still have a few men left. Did you have a question to ask them to go ahead and help us narrow it down? Oh. Good, my brother. I'll still have you ask your question. We'll go back to him. Um, how was your guys' childhood growing up? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and start over here. If we can have your name and age. My name is Preston. I'm 29 years old. Okay. I think and she's going to pop. Preston, what do you do? She's going to pop his balloon because of his voice. She said he's more, too much Very deep. Nice. And now to go ahead and I think I saw question, this part, no? Um, you said, what was your childhood like see. growing up? Okay. What do you mean? Like, I said, like, was it like, what do you mean by keeping more Like, specific? did you have, um, like, family with you? Was it kind of hard? Like, did you feel like you were loved as a child? Like, type stuff. Like, or did yeah. you, like, was it like a struggle growing up? Like, did you feel okay. like you beat that, like, type? Well, more so of um, I grew up in Alabama. I'm from Salem, Alabama. My mom was there. My dad. My dad lived like a mile away. So, my mom was very like loving. My dad was very like straightforward, strict. So I kind of got the best of both worlds. Okay, that's good. All right, thank you. If we can have your uh, name and age. Uh, Marcus, 29. And Marcus, what do you do? I'm a logistics coordinator. Okay. And if you want to go ahead and answer her question. Uh, yeah, single mom at four. Uh, I was probably the bad child, so. <laughs> As, as a single mom, you know how that is when you got a, a, a kid who's not uh, the best in school. So it was smooth for me, though, outside of that. Mm-hmm. Good. All right. Name and age? I'm Connor. I'm 27. Connor, what do you do? I'm on a fitness company full time. All right. If you want to go ahead and answer her question. Uh, my childhood was good. My my mom loved me. I was a single. I was in a single household also. Oh. Um, it came with its fair share of adversity, but it, it crafted who I am today. So I love it. <laughs> I think that the, the, in America the divorce is too much high, Rico, though. I'm 24. Rico, what do you do? Um, I'm a model and I'm a caregiver. You want to go ahead and answer her question? Um, my childhood, I grew up in a two-parent household. We're from West Africa. Cool, good, my um, uh, Oh, it's from Africa. Isn't like, it? kind of touch back on what he said. Like, my parents shaped me to who I am today. Like, I can go deep into it, but it's going to be long. <laughs> I don't want to get started, <laughs> but I just know. I came from a good background. 
It's been a little bit. One more down here. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Isaac of 28. Isaac, what do you do? I work full time as a marketing event planner. Okay, and if you want to go ahead and answer her question. My childhood was good. My parents were very strict on me growing up. You know, they instilled a lot of good values in me. I grew up in a two parent household, so yeah. That's good. All righty, girl. And we did get one pop balloon. Let's hear from him, and then I'll have you go ahead and eliminate someone. Hey, if we can have your name and age. Hello, I'm Prince, and I'm 26. If we have the detector over the eye, uh, um, I was looking. I'm an armed guard. I'm an artist, and we own a family business. You're model, right? Right. And now, why did you end up popping your balloon for Lala? First and foremost, like, you know, she's a lovely lady, good skin, she's nice pretty. eyes. She's pretty. Energy is pretty cool, too. Um, she got yeah, on she's calm. about, you know, his name, and I feel like that's something that you can't that's, really control. That's shady. You, know? mm -hmm. you are whatever your parents name you, you know, so I just feel like it was a little shallow, but. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Okay. Shallow, and now Lala is he your type? My English fucked up. Um, I like the way he's dressed. I don't like the thing that he said about the name because, like, you have to. Okay, let's go into it really for a second. Okay. In the bed, do you want to hear? So I don't want to be screaming my own name. Are you supposed to be calling him something else, though? You know. No, I like to call you by your name. <laughs> it's sexy. Fellas know what I mean. Yeah, but it's like baby. That was love. but no, he, he is my type. Yeah, but when you said we, were you referring to him? Or like when you said we own. What you mean? You said we own. Oh, uh, me and my brother. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, not that. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Shout like, out to my brother. Together? Shout out to my brother Duke, Tag Mechanics, <laughs> okay. LLC. Yeah. Appreciate it. Throw in though. Just, <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, Lala. After hearing about their childhood, I'm gonna go ahead and have you eliminate one person. One person. Mm -hmm. Go for his voice. Oh. His voice. Yeah. Say he's have a deep oh, voice. Okay. okay. I want this part. I really want Then I will really watch. Um, to be honest, I just really couldn't really understand you. So oh. he did say it twice. So I do know that you wrote a book and like I did understand. But like just from like the first, it was kind of hard understanding you. You got a raspy voice. From yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> all right. And uh, did you have another question to ask the guys or fellas? If you all have a question for her, yes, please ask me a question. Oh. All right, let's go over here. Uh, what's your love language? My love language is, oh. That's tough. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, so I really thought about this one. So, like, if I'm having a bad day, my love language is blah, 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 would basically be, like, try to get me out the house, like, a park or, like, do something, like, outside adventure. So I have a dog, but, like, something that, like, it doesn't have to be like all oh, expensive or anything, but it, like just get me out the house and like take me on an adventure. It could be in town, out of town, it doesn't matter. Just give me new scenery and not like just stuck in the house. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now nah, we good, we good. Okay. Yeah. That answers your question? Yeah, it did. Okay. All right. Oh, we have a question down here. Did you have one? Okay, we're right here. What's something you learned that forever changed the way you operate? You can't love someone that doesn't want to be loved, or you can't help someone mm. that can't help themselves and doesn't want to be helped. Mm, that's a good lesson. It's a good lesson. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's throw that question back over to you. Um, there's a lot. Um, you've got to learn to protect and pri prioritize your own peace and your own well-being before you can give to others. Because mm -hmm. there's a phase in my life where all I wanted to do was give, but uh, I couldn't sustain to give because so much was being taken. So okay. that's nobody like to give that much. Thank you. If you don't Wait, gain you in return, oh, nobody oh, gives a lot. Right, here we go. Uh, my quality time. Quality time? Yeah. Okay, I like that. All right. <laughs> okay. We had a question right down what, here. What the fuck is the uh, love language? What kind of dreams and aspirations do you have for your life? Dreams and aspirations. I like to travel. I've traveled a lot so far, but really... I want to open multiple businesses and like really give back to the community and like the younger kids and stuff and like give them more opportunities. Okay. Yeah. That's good. All right. Do you want to throw it back to him? Hey, what are your dreams All and right. aspirations? My dream and aspiration is to inspire people to become the best version of themselves. And how are you going to do that? And how do you plan to do that? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good anyway. But that's, a good that's question. Ultimately the goal, so. Okay. Good. 
Anyway. You can always start at like the soup kitchen, girls and boys club. Some people have the answer mind. like to the question, yeah, but they don't have to how to act with it, like Laha. which the action they it's do. They do. That's, that's something normal. Who are we popping? You know, he would like to have make change, but he's in the same time he's trying to figure it out how he can. Ooh, that's something okay. normal. We'll let him pop, and then we'll have you pop one. Okay. Oh. oh. This one, the I think with the black jacket. <laughs> Oh, this is a big one, least Nikki if you know. Wait, can I get the ages again? Uh, 29. And can I ask one question, too? Oh. Before oh, I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get my own game show. How do you guys feel about kids? Okay, let's start right here. How many? To be honest with you guys, this show looks really, really boring. I did, I, I did one reaction of it. Uh, I mean, there's a number to it. I don't have kids, so... Uh, if you push in two or three, we got we got to talk. Yeah, about there, there's no interesting topic about it. That's why it's really boring. So I'm gonna skip. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it here, guys. I'm not gonna do much more of it. If you can, you can check the link. I'm just gonna drop this one. It's really boring, though. Anyway, subscribe, likes, comments, and go check other videos. <laughs> Better. Yeah, see you for other reaction, guys. Peace. Boring.